Okay, so we're back. We continue with question 5.3. The last question on uh, calculus. So we're given the sketch. This sketch represents this is the cubic graph. The equation of this cubic graph is minus x to the power 3 plus 6x squared minus 9x. So the question is find the gradient of the tangent to the curve at t. Okay, so we're given a point on the graph, point C. We need to find the gradient to a tangent. So that means if you draw a tangent here to this curve at this point, you want to know what is the gradient of that tangent. Okay. So if I want to know what is the gradient of the tangent, then we do not have two points on the graph. We only have one point. So we cannot use the change in y or the change in x. That would be the average gradient. We want a gradient at a specific point. So in calculus, your gradient M will equal to the first derivative. Okay, so what how do we get the first derivative? So f of x is the original equation. Okay, the original equation is minus x to the power 3 plus 6x squared minus 9x. Alright. So now, the first derivative. First derivative. If this if it's given to you as f of x, you will write down f prime x. And now, you, you will just use the rules for differentiation, each one. So that's minus 1 times 3, that will be minus. 3x, 3 minus 1 will give you 2, and the derivative of 6x squared will be plus 6 times 2, which is 12x to the power 1, and the derivative of minus 9x to the power 1 is just minus 9. <coughs> okay, so now, in all, this will be the equation that you are going to substitute into. Okay. To find the gradient, we find the first derivative. Okay, and then we will substitute. We need to substitute a value here. So, we need a point which was given to us here. Can you see that? So, point given. We got the coordinates. Two there. We're not sure what the y value is. Okay, so I'm just writing it as y. So what I will do is substitute this x value into your first derivative. So you're going to go f prime 2 is equal to minus 3 times 2 squared plus 12 times 2 minus 9. So we've got minus 3 times Minus 3 times 2 squared, which is 4. 12 times 2 is 24 minus 9. So you've got minus 3 times 4 is minus 12 plus 24 minus 9. So 24 minus 12 is 12. Minus 9 will be 3. About 3? Okay. So this was the question. The question was just to find the gradients of the tangents. You could be asked in the November exam, maybe find the equation of the tangent. Okay, so this is the final answer for this question. Alright. So that is your M, which is equal to 3. Now, I just want to add on something, just in case you get something like that in the November exams, like this here. But what happens if they ask you to find the equation? of the tangent. Okay, so let's add it on. So 
So the tangent is what type of graph is a tangent? It's just a straight line. Okay, here's a straight line. So if I want to find the equation of the tangent, in other words, they're asking me to find the equation of the straight line. So what do we need? We need one point and we need the gradients. Okay. So we have the gradients. We found the gradient which is going to be 3. We need a point. We have a point there which is called T. Okay. And we only know the x value at that point which is 2. We need to know what is the y value. So how will we find the corresponding y value if we already know an x value? So now remember, what does 2 mean? It means that this is a point x is equal to 2 on the cubic graph. Okay. So if I know what x is equal to if I know that x is equal to 2, and if I want to find y, where which equation will I substitute it? Into the original equation. Because if I got x, I can find y. So you will substitute into the original equation. Right, so now, let me just write that down. The original equation is y is equal to minus x cubed plus 6x squared minus 9x. Alright, so now we, we know that x is equal to 2. So, we've got minus there, 6 times that there, minus 9 times that. So, we are replacing x with 2. So let's see what we get. If we replace x with 2, that's going to be minus 2 to the power 3, which is 8. And we got plus 6 times 2 squared, which is 4. Minus 9 times 2 is minus 18. So I've got minus 8, 6 times 4 is 24 minus 18. So 24 minus 8 is 16. 16 minus 18 is minus 2. You have got that minus 2? <coughs> right, so now, therefore, t is now 2 minus 2. You are clear with that? Now, we can find the equation of the tangent. So, the information that I have is I have a point T and I have the gradients. The gradient which we worked out earlier on, we wrote it down here, was 3. So if I've got a point and I have a gradient, it's best, you can use any equation of the straight line. There's five different ways to write down the equation of the straight line. It depends on the information that's given to you. But here you have a point and you have a gradient. So why not use the point gradient form? What is the point gradient form? It's y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. Because this formula allows you to substitute all the information in one time. Okay. So we've got y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. So what is y1? This is my x1. Remember, this will now be x1. And that will be your y1. So it's going to be y minus y1 is minus 2. m is 3x minus x1, which is 2. So now I will have y plus 2 is equal to 3 times x, which is 3x3 three times minus 2 is minus 6. So now y is equal to. 3x minus 6 minus 2, so therefore y is equal to 3x minus 8. And 
that is the equation of the tangent if you ask that question okay remember the tangent is just a straight line so all you need is a point you need the gradients you work it out